the more interesting Bartram sites, and it was not a planned site. Uh, this is also a William Bartram site, not a John and William Bartram site. So this was not visited by John Bartram and William during the 1765-1766 um, the trip, but rather only by, um, by William Bartram in 1774. Um, on that day, uh, the, the day that they actually visited this site, he left uh, Spalding's lower store uh, in, uh, in concert with a group of traders who had a larger boat. William had a small uh, canoe or a small sailboat. He called it a canoe fitted with a sail or a small sailboat. Uh, so we're not really certain of what the configuration of his sailboat was, but we do know that it was small. And uh, so he was, had been on Lake George before because he had crossed it with his father 10 years earlier, so he knew what to expect. And so he decided it would be best if he went in concert with the larger boat. So when it came time to cross Lake George, they, they did so early in the morning to avoid the, uh, the higher winds and the storms that often come up on Lake George in the afternoons. And so he tied his small sailboat behind the larger uh, trader's sailboat and they proceeded across the lake. They'd only gotten a little, a little ways across the lake before a storm did in fact blow up and the winds picked up from the west and dismasted uh, the large sailboat. And uh, it was only uh, by the sheerest of luck that they were able to return both the large sailboat and William's small sailboat in tow to Drayton Island. And they came to what William called a, a small uh, harbor which was in the lee of the, uh, of the wind, which this, uh, this point on Drayton Island pretty much fills that bill. It's the southernmost point of Drayton Island in that intrudes into Lake George. And so this is likely the spot. We don't know where along this shoreline they actually stopped, but we do know they got out and they set up camp. And from that camp, uh, William proceeded to, to make the best use of his time, and so he explored uh, Drayton Island. Uh, a lot of his, in travels, he has some fairly extensive uh, writings uh, and descriptions of the flora and fauna that he found on Drayton Island, and uh, talks about uh, an old Indian settlement that was on the island. He also speaks of a large mountain that was located, probably another uh, Indian mound uh, that may have been located on the island. But if that uh, existed, in fact, um, we don't know where it is, and there are no records, no uh, existing records that we know of that describe that. He, he said that from the top of that mountain, you could actually see Mount uh, Royal. Uh, and as far as we know right now, there is no place on Drayton Island from which you can actually see Mount Royal. But um, it's also safe to say that Drayton Island is completely in private ownership. And so uh, a lot of it is, remains undeveloped today, and there could, in fact, be some high ground on the, on the island that, that is just in private ownership and we don't know about. But uh, this was one of the, uh, the Bartram sites uh, within Putnam County, um, and this was one that William Bartram visited uh, on his first trip up the St. John's River in 1774.